In this video, I will teach you how to start with 3D modeling with Fusion 360 and how to design objects such that you can easily change their dimensions. That is, I will teach you how to parameterize the object design. For example, if I want to change the outer diameter of this object, of this 3D object, I will just enter one number. Instead of 80, I'm going to enter 100. Here, if I want to change the inner diameter, I'm going to enter 80. And here is the result. So you can parameterize all the dimensions of this object. And then later on, you can easily change them. This is a disciplined way of modeling 3D objects. There are a total of six parameters that define this object geometry. These parameters are the outer diameter 1, the outer diameter 2, the inner diameter 1, the inner diameter 2, the height of the object, and the depth of the object. So, let us start with the modeling procedure. I'm going to keep uh, this window open. Um, the final objects shape and geometry just for illustrations. So this is the basic screen that you will obtain once you enter into Fusion 360. So your first step is to define the parameters. You click on modify and you click on change the parameters. By clicking on the plus sign over here we can define the parameters. So let us define the parameters. and we enter the value, we choose 100 is our first parameter and then we repeat this procedure for the remaining five parameters And finally, we define height and depth. Height is going to be 20 and depth is going to be 10. So here are our four, actually our six parameters. We click on OK. Our main strategy for creating this object is to start from two-dimensional geometry. And once we have a sketch in two dimensions, we can extrude such a sketch and we can obtain a three-dimensional object. Our first step is to create a new component. So right-click on Unsaved and click on New Component. Here is our new component. Click on a new component and expand it. Now, here under the solid menu, we can click on create sketch and we choose the plane. So here are the three planes, X, uh, Y, and Z, X, and Z, Y plane. So we click on X plane. So here we are. Here we are in the X, Y plane. Now, the first step is to define the circles. So we click on the circle and here is our circle. We do again. Here is the second circle. Now we are going to choose the parameters of such circles. That is, we are going to assign the parameters to these circles. We click on sketch dimension and we select the first circle. Here we, we are going to enter the parameter name. This will be the outer diameter. And by clicking enter, you can see that 
Fusion 360 automatically assigns the radius to be equal to the parameter value. Actually, the diameter equal to the parameter value. We repeat this for the second circle. And enter. And the first circle diameter is 100, and the second circle diameter is 80. The next step is to extrude this two dimensional drawing. So we click on Finish Sketch and we click on this Home button to return to the 3D view. Now, extruding is a very simple process we click on extrude icon and we are going to select this ring over here and we are going to extrude this ring for the height that's defined previously for the height parameter so here we're going to say distance should be equal to height and we click OK now notice here the operation menu here, the operation menu is currently set to be equal to new body. You will see later why this menu is important. And we click on OK. The next step is to extrude the second circle. Again, we click on Extrude. We click on the second circle. However, here it's very difficult to click on the second circle. So, we are going to go back to our sketch and here we can click on the second circle and as a distance we are going to enter the expression so we are going to ex enter height minus depth and it's very important here to choose the proper operation we have uh, operation to join to cut to intersect or new body or new component we're going to click on joint which means that we're going to join the newly extruded object with the previously extruded object and we're going to click on OK so here is our extruded geometry from here you can see uh, Next, we need to extrude the third circle and to create the hole. So how do we do that? We click on Sketch and we click on Edit Sketch. Then we create a circle. We assign the parameter value to the circle. So it's inner diameter 1 and press enter. We finish with the sketching and we need to extrude the circle. Now, we're going to decrease or better to say to make the body invisible so we can easily extrude the circle. So you can do this by click on the eye icon over here can basically hide the body or show the body here we're going to hide the body and then we're going to extrude the inner circle the distance will be equal to the height now we should be careful here because currently I made a mistake why did I make, make a mistake? Well, I didn't join this extruded circle to the body. So I can fix that by going here and clicking on the, with the right hand click and edit feature. And then I can say that this object should be joined to the body and I'm going to deselect the body and I'm going to click OK 
and now you can see that the extruded object is merged with the body so we only have a single body the final step is to create a hole centered at the center of the object so how are we going to create a hole we're going to click on create hole now we're going to select the top surface of the previously extruded cylinder here is our hole then we are going to center this hole we're going to move the center of the hole to the center of the previously extruded cylinder and here we are going to adjust the hole settings so we're going to cho choose flat bottom although it doesn't matter because the hole is going to go all the way through the object now here we are going to set the cylinder we're going to set the inner diameter to as a parameter of the hole and the depth of the hole can be adjusted the hole can be made all the way down and finally we have to verify that all the parameters are correct we are going to click OK here it is here's our final model let us now test the parameter changes so if we click on modify and click on change parameters we can choose arbitrary values of the, of the parameters and the geometry should change accordingly so the outer diam diameter is 120 here it is changes let's change the inner diameter let's say 60 here it is let's change the height let's say 40 here's our height change and then finally you can you can adjust the fillets so you can choose the fillets to make the edges less sharp for example you can choose let's say three millimeters as a fillet value so here it is you see how these these edges how the edge changed